Hello, welcome all present and future subscribers. It is the Wobble 2 Collector 1939 to 1945 here, back after six years with no videos. Today, I'm going to take you through the Bren light machine gun and the equipment that goes with it. Stay tuned. So, here we have the Bren light machine gun 303. This is a 1942 example, um, Lifo, made in Australia. It's a Bren Mark 1 modified. Um, easily given away by the adjustable rear sight, the barrel with the stainless end, adjustable bipod, Mark 1 carrying handle, and I have the anti-aircraft carrying handle on the butt as well. So this is a deactivated example, old spec, I've had it since before the change. I'll just take you through the action of it. So it is a top fed magazine, 30 rounds, generally loaded up with about 25, got the adjustable dial sight on the rear, you got your trigger group with the select fire, safe, automatic and repetition, it's obviously your trigger. This here is the lever for removing the barrel. It moves on this one, but the barrel is fixed. The carrying handle. Gas port, bipod, sight. From above, you can see into the breech. To mark one, you have to bring the bolt forwards. Set it to repetition and dry fire it. Obviously, there's a dust cover on the top and dust cover on the bottom. Place on the top, pull the breech back. You can see that the dust cover at the bottom is closed. Now, when you fire the gun, it automatically opens the breech cover on the bottom and that stops rounds wedging up in between. So that there is the Bren Mark I light machine gun. So this is the Bren light machine gun. Gets its name from Bruno and Enfield together. The gun is based on the Bruno ZB27, which is a Czechoslovakian made gun. Um, it's been adapted for British use, converted to 0.303 ammunition, which the British used as a standard round at that time. Um, it had a rate of fire of 500 rounds per minute and weighed about, weighed about 23 pounds. Um, had a removable barrel, um, 30 round magazine, repetitive and automatic fire. And I'm now going to take you through the equipment that was carried with the gun. So the Bren team was a three man team. You had a Lance Corporal. A Bren number one and a Bren number two. So the Bren number two would carry the spare barrel bag, which has the spare barrel. This is a deactivated Mark II barrel, but it would still have been used with a Mark I gun, so they were interchangeable. You can tell the biggest difference is it's all one piece steel and does not have the stainless end piece on it. The sight's also different. So that would be carried inside the main barrel bag. Also in the bag, you have an oil bottle. Um, here's a wallet for the parts wallet, which the number one we carry, but I'll get to that in a minute. That would be carried in there when it was in transport. You have a cleaning rod and brushes for clearing out the gas port. The brushes are kept in here, and there's a slip inside the main bag for the rod to live. This is a double pull-through, 4x2 cleaning patches, cleaning gauze, and a oil bottle. Exactly the same as what was carried with the number for the Enfield. I said this was not filled with oil, it was filled with grease for greasing up the gun. It's got a thick, dark grease. This is the parts wallet, which would have been carried by the Bren Gunner himself. It had the tools that you needed on hand immediately. So we have more 4v2, cleaning gauze, oil bottle. It is a defouling tool for clearing out the inside of the piston port. You put it inside, squeeze it out and turn it, and that would defoul it. This is the Mark II combination tool for stripping down and working on the Bren. 
adjusting the um, gas settings and such. And then we have a spare parts tin filled with spare springs, split case and extractors, more gauze and general parts of the gun, extractors, firing pins. Some of the parts that they would have carried you can't carry now as their um, section five parts for live firers. You can't own those anymore. Um, such as like a spare breech block they would have carried. Um, also, the Bren number two would carry spare ammunition. So this is six magazines of Bren ammunition carried in the supplementary pouches. And every man in the section would also carry two magazines as well, except for the gunner and the number two, which would carry four each, as with the Lance Corporal of the Bren section. Thank you very much for watching.